Oh. Yeah, I know, this is not the Terminator mask, but hey, really cool mask, isn't it? It's still a skeleton. Oh, I gotta take out this warrior. By the way, if you wanna get this lighted up skeleton mask, it's pretty cool. Uh, links in the description below. Worldwide shop, the main sponsor for Leaving Like Lionel. Um, just a quick one. It's a mask, just light it up with LED lights, and uh, it comes with this remote control. Uses double A batteries. I'm actually a bit worried wearing this with batteries. I feel like it might shock my face. All right, guys. Links in the description below. Go check it out. And what is up, you guys? I hope you're having a wonderful day. Today's vlog is gonna be a movie review of Terminator: Dark Fate. And before we get into the review. Here's evidence that I actually went and watched the movie. I am here back at Vivo City, everyday Vivo City, to watch the new Terminator movie. All right, got the tickets, heading into the cinema. Ah, this is what we are watching. Hmm. All right guys, I'll see you after the movie. Stay tuned for a movie review. Today's cinema. Whoa. So we are back and back for the review. I know this review is kind of late, but hey, better late than never. Plus, I'm sorry, I got a lot of videos that needs to come up before this video. But as you guys know, at the start of the vlog, I went and watched Terminator Dark Fate when it came out. Well, a few days when it came out. So I kind of watched it early, not late. Only the review is late. Also, before we start, a big shout out to Richard. Richard who has joined Patreon and will be on my members email list for all the private videos that I post. So thanks a lot Richard, welcome to the family. And if any of you guys would like to be included in the members email list, please check my Patreon page out. It does help the channel and thank you guys so much for the continuous support. Terminator Dark Fate. This is the sixth installment of the Terminator franchise and honestly speaking, the last three was pretty crap. Terminator 3, Terminator Salvation, Terminator Genesis. We are just gonna ignore that those three movies even exist. Which is what this movie, Terminator Dark Fate, want us to do. Dark Fate takes place straight after Terminator 2. Now technically, if you're talking about a time travel movie, then it's okay that the last three movies didn't exist. Let's start off with the bad villain or the bad Terminator in this movie, the Rav-9. Like seriously, I love the idea of the Rav-9. It is almost like the T-1000 and the T-800 combined into one Terminator. I like that it could split and it could combine. That's really cool. Now, while a lot of critics may dislike this movie, I actually enjoy this. I enjoy this movie, the simple fact that it goes back old school. I'm glad that the director, James Cameron, however, he's a producer in this movie, I'm glad that he's back. And I like all the car chasing scenes. It really brings me back to Terminator 2, where they had like the motorbike and the truck chasing. I just like how they created the fear of the new Terminator, the Rav-9, and all the chasing scenes were like really, really good. I mean, there's really no shortage of action in this movie. And I can say, Tim Miller did an awesome job directing all these action scenes. Now, having said all that, I went into this movie knowing that this movie is not gonna be realistic. I mean, come on, sci-fi, Terminator, robots, from the future, time travel. I mean, how realistic do you want this movie to be? So going in, my expectation for this movie were like really, really low. And it was good that I kept it really low because I came out of the movie satisfied. I enjoy this. I enjoy watching this. Now, I can't say that this is the best Terminator movie. I can say that this is like the best Terminator movie out of the last three. I mean, storyline is pretty much the same. Terminator from the future is back to kill somebody and this somebody will be the future leader and then another enhanced human brought from the future is here to protect her. Yeah, what else? It's all the same storyline. What else do you expect? The female character, the enhanced human, Grace, is like Reese from the old movie. Grace is brought back from the future to protect Danny. 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 Or Danny. However, I like how they told the story 
through grace and it's like they didn't give away all at once at the start of the movie but like throughout the movie she has like visions or she has dreams and it kind of fill in the gap so I like that they told the story in this way as to compare to all the other Terminator movie in the past but another bad point is that once you know the whole story at the end you felt like Danny or Danny you felt that Danny or Danny story wasn't really strong it was like really rushed this Danny character didn't get so much character development that's how I felt it's a shame that there was not enough depth to that character when that character was supposed to be the main character excuse me not main character the most important character of why they are all sacrificing and protecting her now the problem with this movie is pretty much the CGI not that they didn't have any effort but if you want to make something real and CGI it has to be realistic it has to match now the problem is all the fighting scenes were like you're watching a video game like they can jump really high or they can jump from one building to another building it felt very fake I'll give you another example because Arnold Schwarzenegger is oh you don't expect him to throw punches even the punches were like CGI <laughs> I just feel like it's our mind because you know that he's old and you know that he's not going to be able to punch that way. It would probably work better if Arnold was younger. I want to say that Linda Hamilton, the the Sarah Connor, she is just amazing in this movie. I'm surprised for a 60 year old actress, she can really kick some butt. All in all, I would give this movie a 6 out of 10. It's entertaining, it's enjoyable to watch, I came out of this movie satisfied it's not gonna perform spectacularly it definitely doesn't beat terminator 1 and 2 i just felt like they took the safest approach this time around giving you and giving fans what terminator movies were supposed to be it just felt that dark fate was like a copy of terminator 1 and 2 put together and there you go there you go <laughs> so to summarize this i went into the movie i came out i was satisfied I enjoyed it. I had fun watching this. And if you're a fan of the Terminator franchise, especially if you love part 1 and part 2, then you would definitely love this movie. Alright, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. You guys keep smiling. See ya! Guys, if you enjoyed this video, please hit that subscribe button, hit the notification button. And for those of you who have been following me for a long time, please hit that thumbs up like button or the dislike button, anything. Hit one of those buttons because it does help the channel. That's what YouTube wants. They want more activities. I'm getting the views, but out of all those views, if you guys could hit the thumbs up like button for every video I put, then my channel would be more successful. All right guys, thanks a lot. Thank you for watching. See you in the next vlog. Alright guys, I got home, I did a bit of editing, and now I'm gonna head out to meet Faiz because I haven't met Faiz for a while, so I've decided that, you know what, I should go out and take a little joyride around with him. I'm just gonna take the RX100, the Sony's, um, it's a small camera, and then we'll see, we'll see what happens after that. Alright guys, I made it here to Bukit Batok Driving Centre, that's where we are supposed to meet. Faiz said to meet here at 9 o'clock. I am here at 9 o'clock. He is still not here. Yeah. I'm early today. Tonight, we are going to check out Chua Chu Kang area, which is like the west, northwest of Singapore. Don't know what to expect yet. So, we'll probably explore that area. It's like Kranji, UT, and Chua Chu Kang. All those areas. We'll see where we go. Now, I must say, look at this nice temple opposite. It's all nicely lighted up. Hmm. Beautiful. What is up, Faiz? Oh, good to see you again. But you're late today. Seven minutes. Uh, yeah, <laughs> seven minutes late. <laughs> uh, I went to eat my dinner first. Ah. So where are we going today? Um, Chua Chu Kang. Chua Chu Kang. Been there, right? No. Yeah. Let's go check it out. Let's go. All right, guys. We have ride for like a good thirty minutes, and we have reached to Chua Chu Kang. And Faiz, yeah. just behind us here, it's a river. You have light? It's What's on my bike. Oh, you have, it's on your bike. Guys, look at this. Oh, that's, that's a river. <laughs> ah, yeah, Faiz's light is a lot better. 
Now over here, this place has changed so much, Faiz. Like, uh, seriously, I don't know where I am. From the last time you were here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I say that it's because the last time I was here was during my army days, which is like 20 years ago. That's, that's your fault. <laughs> no, 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 it's not 20 years old. Why am I talking? It's not 20 years ago. I'm not that old. Uh, 15. I was only 5 years old. Yeah, you little boy. Oh, by the way, Faiz, Faiz went overseas. And yep. that's why I didn't meet up with him till today. Where did you go? I went to Yogyakarta or Yogyakarta. Which is Indonesia. For what, six days. Wow. Yeah. Where's my souvenir? You want sugar? You didn't get me any souvenir? What, I got, what sugar? I got 36 kilos of sugar. Why did you buy sugar there? Because I went to the Kampong. <laughs> Kampong means village. He went, he went to the village area and yeah. he bought lots of dry shrimps and sugar. And dried fish as well. All right, let's just go. Let's carry on. <laughs> wow, guys, seriously, so much has changed over here. Look at this. There's like a palace behind me. <laughs> Faiz. Yeah, I've never... I've never seen this, yeah. We've right past my cam, my old cam. It's still there. It's still in operation. Obviously, I can't film the cam. And in the past, over here, it was just a roundabout. Now, so much development. So much changes, and I don't even know where I am. This will not connect there. Because this will go back to the green corridor underneath the MRT. Guys, look at this. There's like a park connector all the way along this river. Wow, guys, check out this park connector. Woo! Cool, right, Faiz? Is this more quiet than yours? <laughs> it's very quiet. <laughs> look at that. Wow. Amazing. So we made it to UT and uh, Faiz was telling me that opposite just opposite this park here was a train track. Yep, it was the KTM railway. Oh my, I thought I've discovered all the train tracks in Singapore. But no, there is a train track there. Was. Was. Yeah. Oh, they removed it? Yeah, they did. Oh, there's no more train tracks. Yeah, they returned all the, the steel back to Malaysia. Oh, but there used to be a train track over there. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Fun fact. And guys, look, look at this. Oh. So nice. Such a nice ride. I really enjoy this. We are at the Pang Sua Park Connector. Right, Faiz? Yep, that's correct. This is such a long, long park connector. Wow. Wait, is this longer than your Clementi? Ulu Pandang? Yeah, 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 this feels like a lot longer. Oh, okay. <laughs> He's still going. <laughs> and you tell me this is not longer than Ulu Pandang? I didn't say that. I was asking whether you it is definitely it is <laughs> this is so long guys this is this such a long part okay <laughs> wrong they, no vice we're not allowed to say that in our channel all right guys i think that's pretty much it along the way it's all the same park connector park connector <coughs> park connector park <laughs> <laughs> all the way yeah. yeah yeah i'm just gonna continue riding and enjoy this joy ride with Faiz and hang out with him a bit. So I hope you enjoyed today's vlog and I will see you in the next one. You guys keep smiling. Come on, do yours. See ya. Yeah. <laughs> see ya. See ya. I gotta learn from you. See ya. See ya. See ya. See ya. <laughs> you see my signature see ya has the high pitch and the off, off tune. <laughs> the off tune and the high pitch, yeah. See ya. See ya. <laughs> oh, this is this is getting out of hand. This is getting out of hand. All right, Faiz, let's go enjoy and let's go. have a little bit more joy, right? I tell you guys, I'm glad that I wore the hoodie today because it is freaking cold riding here at night. <laughs> it is cold. <laughs> <laughs>